Hello and welcome to the Word Processor Billing Creating Bills video tutorial for EasyLaw. Word Processor Billing lets you produce printed bills using customized layouts in all versions of Microsoft Word or Corel WordPerfect up to version 11 only. You can bill for one or more clients and select specific time and disbursement transactions to include on a bill. If you choose this option, you must manually enter the bills for the clients using the Enter Modify Bills feature. I recommend that your firm use word processor billing if you tend to bill files individually or when a file is complete and you often make changes to time and disbursements on client files. If your firm does not record time on clients but does record disbursements, Word Processor Billing can give you the flexibility to create bill templates that have fixed descriptions of fees. You can set a Word or WordPerfect template on a client under the Billing Settings tab when you open a new client. Word Processor Billing will use this template automatically instead of prompting you to select one. I only recommend that you do this if you always use the same template on a client. Select Billing followed by Create Bills Word Word Perfect to proceed. Before beginning, I recommend that you set the options at the bottom of the screen to customize your bills and the billing process itself to suit your firm's needs. Click Include Time if you will be billing time entries. Click Include Disbursements if you will be billing disbursement entries. If a client has funds available in Trust, click Trust Transfer if you wish to display a Trust Transfer on your bill. This will not transfer the money from Trust, but will show a value equal to the transactions selected to bill, but not exceeding the amount in Trust or you can specify an amount in the field above. Click Create Bills in one document if you wish to bill multiple clients and have them update to only one document in word processing rather than multiple documents. The client bills will display in the document in the order in which you selected them. This option is available in Microsoft Word only. Click Print Bills when created to immediately print your bills after they are created. I do not recommend that you select this option as it is better to review your bills in word processing before printing. Select a date format for the date fields on the bill. This refers to both the date to the left of time transactions and the date of the bill. Short date format is numeric only and long date format includes the abbreviated name of the month. Select the language of your headers and total descriptions. When billing disbursement codes, choose whether to group the transactions by disbursement code. This setting overrides the Group on Bill setting in the disbursement code screen. This setting does not apply to checks posted to client files and to disbursements posted with code 0, 998, and 999. If you always use the same billing template, click Use One Template for All Bills and select a template when prompted. Your selection will be stored and used each time you create a bill. If you do not select this option, you will be prompted to select a template each time you bill a file unless a template has already been set on the client file under the Billings tab. You can set your e-billing options for use with customized billing in EasyLaw. Please contact EasyLaw for more information if you think this will apply to your firm. Once you have completed your billing option selections, EasyLaw will keep these settings for each time that you log into the billing program. You can, however, make changes to them as needed. Enter the bill to date or accept the default date. Time and disbursement transactions entered on dates up to and including this date will display on the time and disbursement tabs so that you can include them on the bill. 
enter the date to appear on the top of the bill. You can also modify your template to have a customized date field for the date of the bill to default to the date of your computer. Select the client by typing the file number or pressing F5 or clicking the down arrow to the right of the field. Optionally, you can type all to select all clients by major client or by responsible lawyer number, which I will discuss at the end of this video tutorial. The outstanding fees and disbursements will display based on your date selection above. You can now click the Time or Disbursement tabs. If you wish to remove a transaction, or if you wish to edit a time transaction. Double clicking or positioning your cursor on a transaction and pressing enter or clicking select all, deselect all will change your selection of transactions. All transactions that are highlighted will be included on your bill. If required, you can also edit the time descriptions before finalizing the bill. Changes to time descriptions are saved to the client. You can also modify the outstanding fees to bill for an amount other than the amount that displays based on the time transactions selected on a client. Trust funds on a client will display. If you have trust in more than one bank, you can select the down arrow to the right of the Trust Transfer Bank field and select a different bank. The funds on the client for the new bank selected will display. To process a trust transfer as payment for the bill, first select the trust bank and then enter an amount to transfer. If you do not enter an amount to transfer, but trust transfer is set as a billing option, EasyLaw will automatically show a trust transfer on the bill equal to the transaction selected to bill but not exceeding the amount in trust. Remember, this will not transfer the money from trust and you can edit this amount on your bill in word processing. Click Save if you wish to bill another client. You will be prompted to select a billing template if you have not already done so. You can also select Start Bill if you are billing only one client. You will still be prompted to select a billing template if necessary. Click the Selected Clients tab to view the client selected for billing, to edit the billing options for a client, or to remove a client from the list. Click Start Bill and select your template. You will be prompted to print an envelope. You can print an envelope now or later. Click OK to proceed. Word Processor Billing also lets you select clients to bill by major client and by responsible lawyer. Rather than selecting a client, type All in the Client Number field. If you haven't selected a billing template, Choose one when prompted and click OK. To bill all clients for a major client, select the major client code or press F5 to select from a list or click the down arrow to the right of the field. If you do not want to bill by major client, enter 98. To bill all clients for a responsible lawyer, select the lawyer number or press F5 to select from a list or click the down arrow to the right of the field. If you do not want to bill by responsible lawyer, enter 999. Click Proceed to return to the billing screen. Click OK when prompted. Click Start Bill to begin billing. Thank you for watching the Word Processor Billing Create Bills video tutorial.